Welcome to our God Zone series. So starting off, Meryl have come to the party with a discount code. So if you want to get some Meryl gear, go onto their website and you can get 20% off with Meryl Adventure Racing in the checkout. Link is in the description. Thanks to Meryl for sponsoring us for this race. So we start off uh, getting all packed up in Kiwi, in Canterbury. So we all meet there and uh, yeah, it's quite a process getting the vehicle all packed up and uh, heading on our way. So then we spent the first night down in Wanaka. Um, we managed to actually get out and go for a mountain bike ride. So the first one is a team, which was pretty cool. Lake Wanaka. Just going for a quick bike ride. So the reason for this mountain bike was just to make sure the bikes were running true and just get out, stretch the legs. Um, Travelling can be quite hard on the body, so just getting the blood flowing and just enjoying the beautiful scenery of uh, Central Otago. So then the next day we're back in the car, heading down to Tiania. Heading through some beautiful Southland scenery. And then we get to our accommodation. Unloaded all our gear. It's everything we've got to go through for the race tomorrow. Just sitting here getting all our gear ready for God's Own tomorrow. So we um, have registration in the morning and then get our maps and then we're racing by three o'clock I think we start. So my name's Alistair Bird and I'm from Oxford, a sheep and beef farmer. I have yeah, a couple of, couple of young kids so they avidly watch uh, Dots track us along and um, yeah I've got the joyous role of being team captain so make the hard calls when the hard calls need to be made. Um, yeah. So we're looking forward to getting out there tomorrow, starting this race. We've been a long time coming, a lot of prep. And uh, as you can see, I'll flick you around, show you the carnage that's going on in here at the moment. The gear strewn everywhere. Race registration tomorrow, and then we get our maps, sit down for three or four hours with the maps, and then it's uh, onto the mountain bike, and away we go. But. I'll give you a quick, while, while we're not too stressed at the moment, we'll give you a quick overview of the course. So start off with a 27k mountain bike, and then we're into a pack raft. So if you don't know what a pack raft is, it's a small inflatable um, raft that you can blow up pretty easy. You can put it in your bag and carry it around. They're about five kilos. Um, so 39k pack raft and then a 32k trek. And then we're into, so that'll probably put us into the nighttime, the 32k trek. And then we're back in the pack graph for a 27k pedal. And then onto the mountain bikes again for a 24k ride. And then we're into the kind of the bigger end of the race. So there's a pack graph trek, so which is a trek where you carry all your pack rafting gear. And uh, that's 73k's that total stage. So then we don't know how much is going to be on foot and how much is going to be uh, with a pack raft. And then we jump onto a 120k mountain bike, which will be yeah, quite a slog. Some of us are looking forward to it, and some of us aren't. Um, and then there's a 55k trek after that. Then there's a 60k mountain bike, and then an 85k kayak, and then two small stages to finish off with, a 21k mountain bike and a 15k trek. So that's the course. We're hoping to be out there for about six days. Um, and we don't actually know where the finish location is yet, so we'll find that out tomorrow. Hello, Al. My name is Eddie Fardell. I am from Brisbane, Australia. So what do you do, Eddie? In your spare time? In your day-to-day day -day job? In my spare time, I work for a bank. I do data analytics for a bank, so I spend my whole day staring at spreadsheets and databases. I've also got three small kids, which keep me quite busy. Um, 
So yeah, training training has not. Uh, I've done most of my training at night solo. So I'm looking forward to uh, being outside uh, for seven days with some other people around. So yeah, this is the first time we've raced with Eddie. So he, um, I think yesterday was our first team bike ride <laughs> together, which is um, not normally how it goes. But yeah, we've we've made it work, and I think Eddie will be a good fit for the team. Right. So we've got Henry with us. Tell us a bit about yourself, Henry. Um, so I'm a student at Lincoln University currently. Um, so I've done a few races with Al and Jake before. Uh, and I was asked to join this team last year, and which is pretty awesome. I'm uh, really looking forward to the race. Um, I'm from Oxford, also born and bred on a farm. So, yeah, no, looking forward to it. Bit of that rural theme comes through on this team. Sorry, Henry's going to be our navigator. So lead nav, and then I'll just back him up when, whenever he needs it. But um, our confidence is in Henry to lead us the right way. So fourth and final team member, Jake. Jake. Tell us a bit about yourself. Oh, the name's Jake. <laughs> what do you do for crust? Uh, work for an ag contracting company. Uh, 50 lads running around the countryside with tractors and machines. Uh, do a bit of coffee on the side, selling adventure coffee, as well as beans and a few yeah, other things. Might as well give it a play. Uh, backcountry coffee, you need to drink it because it's good stuff. Well done. It's adrenaline in your veins. Yeah. So a couple of kids. Yep, Seth and Michaela, they're the highlight of uh, my career so far. Yep. Mm. Conversation during What are we going to talk about next time? During the course. I don't know, it's a on, good chat. Depends on the level of sleep deprivation, I think. Yeah, I look forward to being in the middle of a bush somewhere, sleep deprived, trying to open a hut door that ends up being a Madagari bush. Going to race for registration, all loaded up with our mandatory gear. This is your tech sheet that you will need to drop off, you know, fill out, yep. you know, the drill. Yep. And uh, good luck out there. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's fun. Thank you. Team T-shirts, support crew, That's it for me. Um, all the other stations around here are your gear checks. Yep. Personal locator beacons are in the um, hall, oh. sorry, across. Yep. And your team photos. Cool. Oh, there's a big line there. <laughs> this is going to take us till 11 o'clock. top of top of the mountain cool which should be pretty awesome and hopefully the sun might be it'll be somewhere along here where the sun's rising i'd say probably probably as we're coming off these tops mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good. 
When the race starts, pretty hectic. So we're on the mountain bikes and it's uh, yeah pretty congested. So pretty much just going the same speed as everyone else. It's hard to get out in front and uh, stay as a team. But as we come into the first transition, we make sure that we get the passport clicked and then dump our bikes, grab pack rafting gear, which our support crew have already blown up. And then we're straight down into the lake. Is that red light on? Yeah. Yep, sweet. Oh, it's flashing. Cool. Way flat. From here, it's a paddle uh, around the heads where Manapuri Township is, and then heading towards the weir, which holds the Manapuri Lake back. And we transition the weir and start paddling down the Wire River. Good. You good, Jake? This race had a dark zone, so from 9 o'clock at night you were not allowed to paddle on the river. So we were only about 500 metres from the finish of the paddle, but rules are rules. So at 9 o'clock we got out and rolled the pack rafts up and walked the last 500 metres or so through a paddock um, to the transition, or to the, to the area where the checkpoint was, and then to the transition. <coughs> Good paddling. We yeah. Almost. Made it. almost. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot more time. So once in transition, it's time for some hot food. Get all the wet clothes off, put some dry clothes on, get the maps ready for our trek stage, and make sure that we're all well and truly ready to go and hit the bush for uh, first trek stage of the race. So we're on the first trek. It's got our first checkpoint on the way to the second one. I think uh, we've got four on the way to five. We're following a couple of other teams. It's currently about 11.30 at night. Bit of a food stop. We're heading to checkpoint six. It's about 1.30, called to two in the morning. How are we feeling, Eddie? Pretty good. Getting a bit cold, but see you going uphill. <laughs> We've got a bit more to go, I think. Yeah, a bit more uphill to go before we go downhill. So we'll carry on and keep ticking off the meters. So 350 in the morning. Setting up camp for the first night. We just uh, kind of found some spots on the side of the hill. There's Jake and Eddie down there. If you can what see them. What a day! What a day! And Henry over here, getting sorted. So we'll try and get a couple of two or three hours, and uh, see you in the morning. Morning, Eddie. Morning. So we uh. What's the time? 6.50. Wow. 6.50. Slept under a rock. Slip, slip, slip. Well, I'll show you, actually show you. You might be able to see. Slip right here. 
Uh, yeah, not the comfortable, most comfortable night's sleep, but we got some sleep and uh, we will continue to uh, knock this trek out today. Yo, let's go get well, it done. The next few hours. Oh, yep. Pulse. Pulse. Let's get her done. What way are we going? Up. <laughs> Map down. <laughs> right. We all good? Yeah, yep. let's do it. Nice work. <laughs> Look at those rocks on top of each other up there on the skyline. Yeah. Wow. On the tops. Stunning. Beautiful Fjordland. Checkpoint, super annoying, tearing, punch, and we've got our passport. So find the right number and give it a punch. Another one tick, tick off. Good to go to the next one. So as we came off the first tops that we hit on the first trek, yeah, it was a helicopter there in the morning taking some footage. So there's a lot of, if you would have seen, there's a lot of um, media, social media and stuff about this race. So they were constantly out there with helicopters and stuff getting some footage, pretty epic scenery. Just sorting out a hot spot on Henry's feet to make sure that we take care of it early, otherwise, it can get uh, really slow us down. So, preventative, we're just checking out the map, and then, yeah, so we've just got next checkpoint, and we're heading on the top, way up there. On this climb up onto the tops again. She's a fierce log. The old stunning scenery. So that's where we're heading up, up there, into the snow, and then it's all downhill to. Uh, the next TA where we jump into pack crafts again. So it's pretty warm. What is it? It is uh, 11 20 on Friday. Making progress, slow and steady. You reckon you will? You see the people way, way up there climbing up. It's where are we heading? Winter Wonderland up here. Still in February. <laughs> How does the Brisbane boy feel about that? Oh, it's snowing in February here. It's crazy, but I'm still in a t-shirt. So <laughs> my clothes are frozen, but the top of me is good. We're getting there. There you are. Slow and steady. That's our next transition on the beach, way right down there. So 
So we started on Tiania, where we were yesterday. So end of trek into the boats. Uh, trying to, it's uh, what are we? Nearly yeah, five o'clock. Five o'clock. So we need a seven k pack up. Around yeah, the around the around Lake Manapuri. So we need to get cracking and try and uh, make the most of the daylight that we've got here. So I'll go and click out, sign my passport, and then we'll be underway. Another stage. Another stage ticked off. Just finished pack raft and boy jeep is it's cold, what are we, about uh, nearly 11 o'clock at night, yeah very cold, so we're all Ooh. getting warm gear on, thanks to Meryl, got my hoodie on over the top, yeah, oh yeah Jake's got his down jacket on, we'll be nice and warm and uh, we'll get packed up and then continue our bike stage. So that'll do it for this video, part one, we'll end this at the transition between stage five and six, so the next video will be from stage six, Packraft Trek onwards. Remember that Merrill discount code, link in the description.